So remember when I said I was going to cut back to Thorntail Hollow for the next episode? Well, after my last recording session, I took another look at my notes and I hate everything right now. <laughs> uh, this next bit, I'm not looking forward to. I have been admittedly dreading this particular, this particular segment for the longest time, ever since the beginning of this project, way before I even started planning for this project. I knew that someday I was going to have to come across this section of the game and I am not looking forward to it. So TLDR, slight change of plans. <laughs> Greetings all, it's Blue Knight and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. Previously, we dropped off the second spellstone back at the spellstone shrine, thus stabilizing the planet a little bit more. And now making our way through this phase after cutting through Cape Claw. Today, we're going to make our way back to Thorntail Hollow, but you're going to see why I had to change that little plan in just a few moments. Hey there, little fella. Oh, I don't like this, Fox. Fox! Look out! It's a trap! Get it! <laughs> That's the one! That's the stinking beast that took my treasure! What happened? Untie me right now! I am Chief Lightfoot, and we don't like thieves. Thief? What are you talking about? Huh. You take our treasure and give it to the stinking shop claws. Yeah, tell him, Chief. Kill the stinking pig. I didn't take your treasure. You gave it to me. Let me show you what we do to thieves. <laughs> Use the flame command at the right time, and I'll help you get out of here! Okay, so this part is not that hard to grasp on. Just hit the A button when the red line is in the green field, and you'll be safe from getting stabbed to death by the Lightfoot. If you recall, some time ago we did see one of these guys back at Cape Claw, and they had this gem that we had to get entrance to the uh, Ocean Force Point Temple, which we eventually did reach. And now, things are coming back to bite us in a way, even though it wasn't really our fault to begin with, because we all saw that that particular Lightfoot had the gem to begin with. But, of course, his tribe's gonna side with him because, well, he's native to them. So if you end up getting stabbed by one of these Lightfoot, it's not going to take off uh, that much health from you, so you don't have to worry about uh, like having very few chances to dodge uh, any attack. Ah, 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 make the bird stop! Make it stop, and I'll untie you! Thanks for helping our queen, Fox! I'm glad I could return the favor! Yeah, thanks, random cloud runner who disappears into the sky. <laughs> well, I guess that is a little benefit we got from saving the queen cloud runner back at their fortress recently. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the same cloud rudder that was accompanying Crystal back at the start of the game. It does sound the same, but it's never really confirmed or denied which specific cloud rudder is, if that guy has a name at all. So now that we're free, we can take a look around this new village that we're at. The Village of the Lightfoots. But I know if we go around here, Cutsy's supposed to activate. At least that's what I think, unless I'm wrong. Shouldn't we take a look around? There may be a Krizoa spirit here. 
Now, I'm not sure where Tricky gets off thinking there might be a Krizoa spirit here, but maybe he's got some, like, omnipotent powers that we don't know about. Who knows? We already know that the Earthwalkers have plenty of secrets as it is, judging from Tricky's ability to teleport anywhere he wants before we can even reach that destination. So maybe we should trust Tricky's instincts on this one. So remember when I mentioned a while ago that there was a swapping mechanic that was originally planned for this game that eventually got scrapped? Well, this place, Lightfoot Village, once upon a time went by Swapstone Circle, which was the other place that was going to be used for the whole uh, swapping mechanic that I mentioned way back when. But of course, that, that eventually did get scrapped and we reworked it into Lightfoot Village is what we come to know as today. I already fall on health. I need more magic, though. Okay, so this was this is what we're supposed to do next. I thought this was gonna come up later, to be honest. This is a wooden block carving. Find a hole where the shape can be placed. We gotta find two more of those, I believe. So we have to water around this area for the ne next little bit, and find some uh, dig spots where we can find more of those carvings. As we saw from the fuel cell compass, there are a couple of fuel cells here as well. I think there's some that we can't actually access right now. So we're going to wait until a little later to completely scour this area. But we should be able to collect some of the bits here right now. And sure enough, another dig spot, which will equate to another carving. And this was actually a little special because, voila, it's a different shape. That's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs> we saw back in the center that uh, there are a few holes that don't have any carvings in them. So that's the destination we're supposed to put all these carvings. But there's one more we have to find. Might be on the higher up somewhere. Again, not too sure on that, but I'm going to try my best. Is there anything over here first? I do see something sparkling off over there. It's another fuel cell. And a crate here too. And there we can see some of the Lightfoot natives here. Including, I think there's the leader of the Lightfoot tribe. But we'll be seeing them right now since we actually, I don't think, can access that uh, hut yet. So that's why we're going around and scouring Lightfoot Village to find the carvings. And probably these guys are a lot smarter than we thought because they took some extra precautions and not wanted to deal with us, especially after how that Cloud Rider helped us out. Can't go over that log, so I'll have to jump down in the meantime. Is there another dig spot around here somewhere? I don't think so. Doesn't hurt to check though. At the very least, I could get to the scrub tub and refill my Grub tub count back to maximum as soon as I can get these guys. Alright, uh, let's go over here next. I know we haven't explored this part of uh, the village yet. During that whole uh, capturing scene, it was planned that Crystal was supposed to be the one that was going to be held hostage by the Lightfoots originally, but we all saw what happened to her in the end. I don't have to go any farther into what her role became in the, in the final product of this game. But that's another little tidbit for you to learn about the early history of Lightfoot Village. That's the third and final carving we could get. Is there anything we could do in these, in these huts right now? Ah, uh, there's no one inside. That's what I thought. It was, I just want to check that out just to be safe. And I'm pretty sure we can't access anything else right now, so I think we're safe to go meet with the leader of the Lightfoots once again. But to do that, we gotta go back to the center first. And fill in those holes with the carvings we just found. As soon as I can actually find the entry point up there, which sure enough was right around the corner. <laughs> I swear, I just have like a weird ability to predict things unintentionally before the, the thing actually happens. Uh, it's just like a weird timing thing 
I seem to realize I have somewhat of a talent to do over the years. I don't know why this keeps happening. It just does. Maybe I'm more psychic than I realize. I don't know. Let's fill in the rest of these holes. And those reach platforms are all around the village. So now we can get access to a couple more places. I think for the most part, they might be in the north to northeast part of the village though. So don't be... Don't be too scared that there's like a whole new world you have to explore this place. Just a couple more destinations have been opened up to you. Not much else. But the path you want to take after filling, filling in those holes with the carvings is to climb up here. They could tuck that over. And from here, we don't have enough magic. Damn it. <laughs> I knew I should have got magic before I started recording. But I want to keep continuity safe just for the... Sick of continuity. Thankfully, there's a plant nearby, so I'll have to travel far, and that should give me enough magic to use that boost pad. So we'll use this, and this will take us on our way to meet with the leader of the Lightfoots. Let's just go down the ladder first. I was thinking about jumping down, but I don't want to take the risk because who knows where Fossil would end up jumping off. you again we know you didn't take our treasure so just go away yeah so you looking for chrysoa spirits eh yes i am so maybe i help you eh you see we keep a secret from the sharp claws under our village is a mighty chamber some say you was built by the Crezor. Do you want to see for yourself, maybe? Duh! Stupid question. Of course we want to see that. Not so fast. Only if you complete the life foot test can you enter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh... They're laughing at you, Fox. You gotta do it now. But before you decide, Take a look at this. So now we have two tests to choose from in order to prove ourselves to the Lightfoot tribe. We'll start with the test of strength first. And this has a notorious reputation for being really tough. Rapidly press A to compete against Musclefoot. Only the strongest could push him into the pit. So let's see how I fare in this notorious test. Uh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Push back, Fox! Push back! You can do it! You got the muscles! Done. That took me, what, eight seconds, give or take? Yeah, I've never found this test to be that hard. And to be honest, I have no idea how many people or why people have so much difficulty with this test. <laughs> Even back in my very first playthrough when I was like 12 years old, I could handle this test with ease. And to this day, I still have no idea how so many people can find this so difficult. It's really just mashing A, but then again, I've never had that much trouble with mashing buttons. It's uh, it's kind of a talent I have, so to speak. <laughs> so that's why I've never found that test to be very, very difficult. <laughs> 11 seconds? I'm going to do that again afterwards, because I honestly wasn't right to be cut into the test immediately, but I know I can do better than that. I'll probably pull up like a record of another attempt following the episode. But it's this test that I personally am a little worried about, the tracking one. Activate all four totem poles within the Lightfoot Village. It beat Musclefoot's all-time record of two and a half minutes to pass. Activate all four totem poles. 
before time runs out. Go! And just like that, we're off to the races. The fox don't jump into the water because I know where the first uh, totem pole is by heart. We actually just passed by it. So if you're wondering why these total poles are here, well, now you know. It's for the test. But I'm pretty sure I know where most of these are by heart. The only thing I need to make a detour for is for more energy. Because I know there's a second energy... No, not energy. A certain rocket boost pad around here somewhere that I know I have to use eventually. Might be more than one if I have to hash the guess. So you really gotta be quick on this. You cannot afford to dilly dally at all. If you slack off for even like a second or two, then that might end up being a detriment to you in the long run. You may think that two and a half minutes might be just enough time for you to pull off this test, but it's actually pretty strict if you're not careful enough. And that's the third one. Now, normally this is where I would have trouble finding the last uh, totem pole, but uh, thanks to recent playthroughs, uh, I actually know where it is by heart. And this is the one that always threw me off uh, in earlier playthroughs because I can just never remember where the final location is. But with, uh, with age comes experience, as some people say, and I know where this last one is. It's just right up here. And we can press a switch. <laughs> well done, Fox. You have completed the tracking test. Very good. <laughs> And now we've gained access to the underground of the Lightfoot Village. <laughs> and that dreadful, dreadful section that's coming up, it's approaching. And I'm not looking forward to it. If you played this game before or know anything about this game, you definitely know what I'm referencing to. But for the uninitiated, join back with me next time as we venture into the underground of the village in our attempt to find another Krizoa spirit. Until we meet again, farewell for now. If I didn't have to make that detour to get magic during the tracking test, I'm fairly positive this time would be a little closer to my usual average. But let's see how fast I can really go against Musclefoot. Now that's more like it, seven seconds. But do you know what the weird thing is? I somehow feel like I could do a little better than that. But I'm pretty sure that's as far as my limit's gonna go. But I'm still pretty happy with that record. Okay, now for real this time. See you later.